pathways of blood flow deoxygenated blood from head shoulder and neck is brought by superior vena cava and deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body abdomen hips and legs is brought by inferior vena cava they both open in right atrium right atrium contracts and pumps it is blood into right ventricle right ventricle sends it is blood for oxygenation to the lungs by pulmonary artery pulmonary artery is the only artery of body having deoxygenated blood between right ventricle and pulmonary artery is a valve called semilunar valve which prevents backflow of blood after oxygenation oxygenated blood is brought by pulmonary vein and this is the only vein of body having oxygenated blood pulmonary veins open in right in left atrium left atrium pumps it is blood into left ventricle left ventricle distributes blood by iota iota is the largest artery of body and speed of flow of blood is 400 to 500 millimeter per, per second iota, iota has three parts ascending iota arc of iota and descending iota the first artery which is given by ascending iota is coronary artery which supplies blood to heart and arc of iota having left and right subclavian artery is supplies blood to neck and shoulder carotid artery left and right they provide uh, blood to face and head now the iota extends downward and supplies oxygenated blood to different organs of body A splenic artery supplies blood to spleen brachial artery supplies blood to arms bronchial artery supplies blood to lungs pancreatic artery supplies blood to pancreas colic artery supplies blood to stomach hepatic artery supplies blood to liver renal artery supplies blood to kidneys mesenteric artery supplies blood to intestine there is superior mesenteric artery and inferior mesenteric artery gonadal artery supplies blood to gonads they are ovaries and testes which is which are further divided into ovarian and testicular arteries femoral artery supplies blood to legs